Hey everybody, it's John from Cohesive, and today I'm here to show off our jobs and scheduling template. One of our jobs and scheduling templates, I should say. This one uses hours um, at a multi-step production process, so uh, going along a route of different workstations, considering the hours at each workstation, considering the dependencies of X job has to be done before Y job can start. Um, this is a pretty cool process, and we can get jobs in the system, we can prepare production plans all by using using our natural language and actually in this demo I am just going to talk to the AI so it'll be not only my natural language but natural voice. So just to quickly set the stage our assistant here has three tables that it works with. It works with the jobs table this just collects the high or high like the high level information about the job and the customer that we're working with. So we collect uh, from the user, the sales order number, the customer name, the order date, the date we promised the customer that we would uh, deliver this product by, what product we're actually producing for the customer and the buffer days. And the first part of our whole assistant is actually to take all those considerations, the route of the route for production one, the fact that we work five days a week, 24 hours a day. Um, so we don't work weekends. We don't work stat holidays in Ontario, Canada, which is where this demonstration is being filmed today. And it takes all of that information. And the first step is to calculate as a start date based on all this information and how long it takes to produce the product product, when do we have to start by? So that's the first part of our assistant. Um, then what we do is we say, okay, great. Now let's create the production plan. So now let's take the nine steps that it takes to produce a, um, that it takes to produce a product one, for example, nest it under the sales order number, and let's actually create the start and end date times for each one of these steps. You know, and as this video series, uh, you know, progresses, we'll be doing resource requirements and starting to add and layer on constraints to this production planning assistant. But I digress. The last piece of uh, data or the last database uh, table that this assistant has is our routes table. And the routes table is really kind of a simple way that uh, an assistant or an AI can kind of go and look and say, okay, what product are we producing? Okay, product one. Okay. Here are the nine steps to produce product one. Here are the hours that it takes in each step. And here's our dependencies. So this is 1.1, no dependencies. This is the first step in the first step in the process. So we just kick it off. It's not dependent on anything. It's just dependent on starting. Um, so 1.2 here, we can see that it depends on 1.1. 1 .1. 1.3 depends on 1.2, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So really easy dependency schedule here, but it's more just to show you how the AI deals with that. It considers it, and then it turns it into actual production planning. So with that, we're at the three minute mark, and we're actually just going to get started with a new job here. Customer name is Acme Corp North America. Order date is June 30th, 2024. Promise by date is September 30th, 2024. We're producing product one. We need three buffer days. And the sales order number is S1234G. So the first part, like I said, is that it's just, I'm just talking to the AI. So it takes my stream of consciousness and now, you know, the, those details, and it's just going to pull from that sentence. It's going to pull the structure out and we can see that it's already starting to think in data and structured data by the way it's presented its questions to me. So it's going to turn that into structure. What it's also going to do is it's actually looking at the product that I gave it and the promise by date. And so it's taken the product and it's going to look in the routes table to say, okay, here's all the things we need to do, uh, plus the buffer days, you know, plus the, you know, weekends and stuff. And now it's telling me, so, hey, we've got to start this job by July 24th in order to do this. Do you want to confirm and keep on moving? Yes, please confirm and save. So now AI is just going to write us a record away up here to this jobs table and we'll be able to see, should give us some sort of indication that something's been written after the AI is done doing its whole process. Um, so another thing that it's actually going to do in the same step, so not only is it going to go and write our data, it's actually jumping right into the production plan. So it's going to, using its data reader skill to jump into this table again, the routes table, and then it's going to do data analysis and look at, it's actually giving us start and end dates and times for each one of the nine steps that it takes to produce number one, 
And again, we said that we have to deliver this by, you know, September 30th, I believe, or yes, September 30th, um, or what have you, but it looks like we're getting done here on September or sorry, actually August 5th. So confirmed. So again, we're just trying to get steps and jobs in a calendar and we can look at rescheduling and kind of analysis on the, um, analysis on the resource requirements and whatnot and production planning in the later video. Um, just wanted to show you how easy it is to just kind of talk to the AI and have it deal with data, structure the data, and put it in the database it needs to go in based on kind of probably standards and historical data like routes and how long it takes at each process. It's probably stuff that you have um, or some of your key employees might have in their head. So this is just, again, a real easy, simple way to take that institutional knowledge um, and some of those spreadsheets that are being used and turn them into um, actual usable AI. We can see data writer and it's going to show up because what I had to do it, it had to create nine records here, one record for each step in the process. So we should see a cascade of data writers here and maybe while it's just waiting on that, we can show you how these skills actually work. And this is kind of the check your work. Um, so with data reader, I can actually see the query that it's put into the table just to make sure that it's looking for the right things. And again, on each one of those, I can see the record that it created with code and it's now inserting into the production plan table. Um, with the production plan table, I could grab our job number up here um, and then I could actually go in just to confirm and I can say, okay, where the sales order number contains do we can run pretty sophisticated queries and we can actually see that the start and end uh, of these jobs is actually scheduled away and we're actually doing right down to the times we need to start those jobs. It's just kind of the icing on the cake here. I'm going to call in another assistant and this is my production plan visuals assistant. All this assistant does is just visualize things for me. Can you please show me this job on a timeline? So we know visual elements are really a, a big part of manufacturing. So some of these assistants and with different strategies, we can use this as part of your workflow to actually visualize what we're working on. Not only that, but really using it in the data analysis process so that humans and AI can work together to find you the best solution. So now we can see, um, you know, we can see this whole um, on a production or production process in just, you know, a few minutes there. I think I talked for three minutes. We're at eight minutes now. So in five minutes, we were able to create the job, put it in the database, create the production plan, put it in the database and visualize everything here on a traditional kind of production Gantt chart. Uh, you know, we'd be able to move this stuff around and make any changes that we see. Um, you know, sometimes I think we'd want to probably get into a scenario where we're, um, you know, putting multiple jobs on here and we can look at that in, in later videos as well. Um, and if you'd like to have a copy of this um, jobs and scheduling template, I'll make sure it's attached to the video and you can download that and upload it to your cohesive tenant and be off to the races and um, doing your own jobs and planning and reverse engineering this uh, assistant. Thanks.